So today we are going to create a blog section for our site. Actually, we are just going to display the posts on our front page. But the cool thing about it will be that we are going to get those posts from WordPress, which we also got installed on our machine, but just on our machine, not anywhere online on the servers. So behind the scenes, I just added a little CSS so that this looks kind of okay. And uh, of course I installed WordPress. We are not going to go through that in this episode. Uh, this is pure vanilla WordPress installation. And I just added some posts using this FakerPress plugin, which you can also use, or you can add actual posts that you wanna display. And uh, of course WordPress right now comes out of the box with uh, its own REST API. And if you go to the, your installation of Word, WordPress and then go to wp-json, wp-v2 uh, slash posts, you will get all the posts that you have as an REST API endpoint. So we are going to use this endpoint to get all of uh, the posts into our site and then statically generate them uh, using, of course, the generate command at the end. But for now, uh, we're just going to use this REST API to get all of those posts to our front page. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how you can click on those posts and actually go uh, to them using routing and so on. But for now, we just wanna display the posts. Now, if you watched uh, view tutorials on this channel, uh, you probably know that we actually connected to the API and displayed something from that API a million times. And you can probably use that same method right here. So you would just open up script tags uh, and then you would uh, add set the data and then you would on the probably mounted function use Axios to get to connect to that endpoint, get the data from it, and then set that data right here and just display them. And of course that probably would work, actually that would work 100%, but once you generate that kind of site, you wouldn't get uh, all of the data fully statically generated, right? So you would ju just actually get a div, and then on the site, when you put that on the site, it would depend on view, uh, to actually display that data. We don't wanna do it that way. We wanna fully statically generate that site. So we have to do things a little bit differently right here. So first of all, uh, we need to create a store for us. And to create that store, as you can see right here, uh, you have this store directory. And in that directory, I'm just going to uh, create a new file and call it index.js. Okay, so now we have index.js file and this is our store. Uh, so how do you set the store in um, Nuxt? It's a little bit different from what you're used to, uh, especially from the last series that we did. So you would just do something like export const So we would uh, create this variable that we would export it called state. And then right here, we would define our state. So for now, we wanna get the posts. We wanna get the posts for our front page. So we would do posts is equal to an array. So we are going to get the array of posts. So the next thing we wanna export also is a const called mutations. So this will be our mutations. And this is just an object with our mutations. So uh, we are going to call our first mutation front page posts. Okay, so now we have front page posts. This is our mutation. And what's that going to be, uh, do? Uh, we are going to use it on our index.view file. Uh, we are going to call that mutation, uh, send those posts in, and that mutation is just going to set our posts to this variable right here. And then we can display them, and once we generate them, they will actually be fully statically generated. But to do that, it's again, just a little bit different than you would normally do in TinView, and we are going to go through that in just a second.
So now in our index.view, uh, first of all, we are just going to import Axios and remember we don't have to install it because when we installed Nuxt, we set it to automatically install Axios for us. So we just need to import it right here. And then uh, we do export default, just like you would do in view. Now right here, Instead of doing mounted, we are actually going to use another special Nuxt function, which is called fetch. And what this function does, it's going to set the data in our store. And that data is actually going to be available to us before all of the, this component is rendered. And this is what is actually going to be uh, the reason that once we uh, do npm run generate, uh, that the Nux is actually going to render a full a static site for us, actually full static page, without the need for view to actually display anything. Uh, so you would do it like this, so fetch. So you would do fetch store, and in here you would just uh, run Axios like usual, but uh, you would return it, so return. And we need to get all of the posts. So I'm just going to go right here and uh, copy this, paste it in. So we would get the posts uh, from this address. And then we would do then. So we are of course, of course expecting some response. And then we are going to use that response uh, to commit it uh, to our mutation which is called front page posts. So store so response data uh, and of course if we got an error we can catch it right here okay now we save this and um, uh, the next thing we need to do so we are fetching this uh, and we are setting up that data, but we also need a way to display it somehow. So how do we do that? Well, of course, just like in view, we need to use the computed method. And we are going to call the method inside it posts. And then we are going to return something. Uh, you know that in view, normal view applications, you would use getters, but you don't need to do that right here. So you would just do return, return this store that state that posts. So this is referring to these posts right here. That's it. And now we have access to the posts in our template part. So we can just display them right here. Uh, so let's do something like uh, posts and in here I would just do something like h3 uh, late check out our latest post or something like that and then you would do post.id is going to be our key and we just want to for now uh, display the title. I'm using rendered right here because if we check out our API uh, as you can see the title is title rendered and it's going to be hello world. Okay and that's about it save this and let's just check it if this works. Okay, so some kind of error occurred. Uh, we are actually probably just going to need to restart our server. Of course, we had an error right here, but never mind that. You would definitely need to restart your server because Nuxt uh, still doesn't know that uh, the store even exists. Uh, so you have to restart it and then it knows that the store exists. Once you save this, go to the page. As you can see, we are getting all of the titles. Of course, I can go right here and do something like post content. 
and do vhtml. So we want to uh, display the excerpt of the post. So post excerpt rendered. Rendered. Okay. Save this. Let's check it out. And as you can see, this also now works. Uh, so that would be it. Now we are getting all of the posts on our front page. And now if I go right here, cancel out of this. Let me make this just a little bit bigger. Uh, now we can just generate this. npm run generate. Okay, so now that this is done, uh, we can just go to our code editor and go to the dist. And uh, if we check our index.html, as you can see, we are getting all of the posts right here, fully statically generated, right? Uh, so I think uh, that's about it uh, for this episode. Uh, as I said, in the next episode, I am going to show you how you would add, of course, links right here. And then when you click that link, you would go to that post. And this is also going to be fully statically generated. Okay, so this is it for this episode. Uh, remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.